So, Joni B, tell us your opinion on the current pandemic. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I hope you're sitting down. Okay, so you're wanting my humble opinion. So I could just go on and on and on. Oh, and Siri my phone just. Also wants your Siri, I know, because a lot of people want to know. Really, I don't care. I don't care if none of you listen, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> really, I don't care. So during this pandemic, we have all these things closed down. We have hair salons. You've had, you can't go into a restaurant. You can't go to a park. You, all these things you can't. And then you have people that are working from home that should be at their work because they make new adventure at home. What is that about? Kids can't go to school which I'm okay with that. If my kid couldn't have gone to school, homeschool would have been just fine to have her here with me because, you know, that's all right. Uh, but some of the kids that I've taught in class, if I had to have them at home with me all the time, uh, no. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, again, I've seen this meme all over Facebook that, you know, yeah, your kids, they're not angels. Okay, my kid wasn't an angel, but your kids ain't an angel either. So, but this pandemic, everything, what's the deal? And then you wear a mask, but then you only cover it here down. Well, then why are you wearing a mask? Then you're wearing gloves, but then you're touching everything with the gloves on that you supposedly touch infected things with. So what's the point of the gloves? Why? What, what logical sense does that make? So the fact is, it doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense at all. Now, trust me, anybody who's gotten sick, really gotten sick from it, I've seen many people. They've gotten sick. They've gotten well. I mean, yeah, my heart is, and really and truly, I pity anybody who gets it, has it, but come on, people. There's some of you out there that have just taken this a little too far. I mean, the small towns of America, literally, they already were struggling and then all of a sudden the government shuts us down. What do we live in, Russia? No, we don't live in Russia. We live in the United States of America, the land of the free. Oh wait, and what, the brave? Are you brave? No, you too scared to leave your house? Oh no, we gotta close everything down. So no, you're not brave. Come on, really? So small town America is dying. We were talking about all the major cities we've talked about. New York. A lot about New York, by the way. Well, what are you people? You haven't been washing your hands? We've been to New York, and I love New York. Love New York City. But yeah, it could have probably done for a good cleaning. So maybe having to shut you down to clean you up a little bit? All right, then. But come on. Small town America, like our beautiful Fairfield, Illinois. We're talking, this is a small town. Just a mere block in Manhattan would all it would be. And all of the, all they're having to close down. You know, can't close your restaurants, you're gonna close your shops. When you only have two or three restaurants and then two or three shops. But I guess then that's really not the big deal. You close everything down, people have lost their job, and now you're saying, oh, go support your small business. Well, how are you supposed to support small business when you ain't even got a job? Hmm. Logic. It doesn't make good sense. So, I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for it to be done. Um, and instead of bringing everybody together, I don't think it's done that either. Um, we're all in the same boat, but all I see on Facebook is, you want to travel? Why do you want to travel? Oh my goodness, you don't want to travel because that's going to make you sick. Well, that's your choice. My choice would be to travel. It would be to travel. Is that your opinion too? That's his opinion too. Yeah, I'm growling too. Come on. And then, okay, here's another soapbox thing. It is, we are so concerned about no travel, gloves, mask, everything. Don't leave your house. But guess what we're doing? We're killing babies. Are you kidding me? You're killing babies, innocent babies that, oh, I'm sorry, you made the choice to jump in wherever you jumped in to create a baby, but now you don't want a baby? No, 
mm -mm. but our government's going to support that and they're going to tell us what to do but it's okay to do that logic it doesn't make good sense then how come a random shooting how come that's not legal oh because that makes sense hello come on come on people wake up and i know you're telling me you're not no expert well you ain't no expert either um i can pretty much you tell me what you've been through and i bet i can tell you i've been through it too i have been through some stuff i'm old and i'm just tired of it grow up people let's all put our big girl big boy panties on and let's be free and brave that's why we choose to live in america Come on, again, let's get with the program. Stop being selfish. Stop thinking about yourself. Think of other people. Think of those small businesses who literally are going to be bankrupt before the government lets them open up again. Really? Oh, and then I can get into other things that, but I won't because you know what? Again, it's not logical, but no, I will. I'm going to say, this morning I came home just to learn that one of our local grocery stores, hmm, could it be Winn-Dixie? Oh, we have a whole bunch of people coming in from South America to work here. When we have American people right now who are out of work. Is that logical? I don't know. But I love everybody and everybody has a gift. We all should be using it. We should be using the brains that God gave us. And if I want to travel, let me travel. If you want to wear a mask, you wear a mask. I might laugh at you and you might at me, but that's all right. That's my choice. It's your choice. So I think that's kind of all for now. Later. And that's Joni B's humble opinion. God bless America. <laughs>